Greetings, Keechlings. Keechin Prime here with my live reaction of Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 298, uh, Mal vs. Zeldris. Uh, the translation I'm reading doesn't have the title, so I had to... Oh, it does. It didn't last week on this website. <laughs> Maybe they heard me bitching. I don't know. But we got Mal with birds on his arm, like modern day clothing, and... Weird how there's four. No, oh, there's five. There's one over here behind the lettering for some reason. And Zeldris has a squirrel mouse. I don't know. <laughs> he looks. He looks like a happy boy with a Ten Commandments T-shirt. Okay. Um. But yeah. Oh, Mal's making that bigger. The cruel sun is at least twice the size it was before, so... Okay, so maybe my idea of having it, like, being small, because I, I we talked about this in the podcast, the, the Boar's Hat podcast, I forget what number it is. Um, it's on Grim Reaper's channel. That's with two M's. Uh, like, I figured, like, it condensed, and then, like, he fills it up with so much energy, and then when it, like, makes impact with whatever he's targeting it would start to rapidly expand but I might be wrong or I could be somewhat right I mean that's kind of how explosions work right but yeah he's about to lob it Aw, oh look it's big bro Luda show he's like you're alive it's like well you kind of already knew that didn't you um I mean the memories came back so I mean, but you you're getting to see him, so I guess it that means more. Uh, Zeldris, why would he do that? <laughs> he wants to complete what he started in the Holy War. But uh, yeah, he knows how they call it heaven. Hmm. I just thought it was called like the goddess realm or something. Um, could be a translation thing. Uh, okay, he thinks he, well, in a way, partially responsible for being the cause of the Holy War. Um, oh, but he's not here to fight. Well, the cruel son would beg to differ. <laughs> uh, oh, he can't turn a blind eye to Meliodas' transformation, though. Um... Oh, okay, so he's giving an ultimatum. It's like, I won't drop the sun on your brother if you pull all the demon forces out. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it seems like every time I see the... the last couple chapters, the center, his head looks more and more like the Olympic torch to me. Because he looks like a torch from behind. Um... What? Wait, are they are they having conflicting thoughts? Is Cusack and Chandler like are they mentally in there? Like Meliodas is about to become the Demon King. I like that. Speaking of Chandler. And then Cusack is like, No! Lord Zeldris becomes the Demon King. So... Oh, he had to shake his head to, like, get the... Like, his singularity. Or his single mindset in place. So Cusack is starting to awaken inside of his mind? So that that's interesting. Um, oh, what? <laughs> You're going to swallow it? <laughs> Wait, greatest son. Oh, <laughs> I, I would have called it Red Dwarf, to be honest. Because that, that's like a thing, like when a son like reaches towards the end of its life, it burns red, it becomes much bigger, and then eventually <clears throat> it will explode. And that's kind of what I would expect from this particular motive, but 
okay, maybe he'll be called Red Dwarf in another translation. But that's kind of how I would call it. And it becomes a massive explosion. So in a way, I was slightly right, but eh, I won't take the win for it. Um, let's see. Okay, you're blowing a hawk and gather across the place. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's pretty powerful. To be honest, this is actually kind of like what he was doing when he had the Four Commandments inside of him. That um, I forget which one it was. It was the first commandment that he had. Love. That was it. Um, where it had like the explosion. It's kind of on the similar scale, I think. Um, let's see. And Zeldris, and I'm going to kind of read this like Beavis when he goes into Cornholio mode. Are you threatening me? But, uh, <coughs> sorry that didn't sound as good. Are you threatening me? I can't get the threatening part, but whatever. Crappy voice. He's crappy. Uh, okay, so he's like, the even the greatest magic won't work on me. Oh. So you're going, what the, what the, <laughs> why are you attacking the ground now? It's like he just, oh, okay, so he was trying to kill Ludashell then, I guess, or, and trying to get to Merlin, I suppose, as well. He was able to block it with one arc. Hmm. Impressive. Um, okay, we've got the Sins. Also backing them up. Diane in the back, King in the back. He's got increase going on. Hawk and Galther are there. Elizabeth. Everybody's there. Why do I have to list off all their names? They're all there. Uh, I feel a burp coming on. Hmm. Let's see. And it didn't come. And then it'll show up when I don't expect it. Um... Okay, uh, Elizabeth is asking how long it'll take. Five minutes. Okay, so we've literally cut it in half from like the last time. Okay. Okay, he'll be. She'll. He will. She will be able to freeze time in the cocoon. Okay. Oh, Mal is zipping up on Zelders there and just. Okay, grabs his arm and just starts whirly gigging his ass. Uh, and then just threw him into the ground. But he actually landed on his feet, surprisingly. Huh. Oh, ominous, ne or ominous nebula again. Okay, Whoa, I forget about that. <laughs> if I accidentally click on the thing, it makes it huge. <laughs> uh, the zoom in feature, ridiculous. Um, But let's see. Uh, Okay, so they're starting to get sucked into the nebula. That's it makes sense. Which, yeah, considering Diane's the one saying that, she's probably thinking like, "I'm super heavy." I tell them I'm not. I'm like seven tons. But uh, but I tell them I'm only thirty or five, maybe. Why am I doing this joke? It's stupid. Um, but yeah, like it, it's got quite a bit of force if it's moving her. <laughs> okay, I see what Galther's doing. He's like hanging on to Gideon, and then he's got Hawk by the ear. <laughs> uh, King's resisting pretty well. Elizabeth is as well. Everybody's holding their own, surprisingly. Um,. Especially the ones that are actually flying. I mean, if you're on the ground, you have a bit more chance, but... Hmm. Let's see. And Mal is either going straight in, or is he actually resisting? I can't tell. And Lidashell looks worried. And this looks worrying. Well, what is about to happen is... He melted Zeldris' sword. <laughs> Uh, 
I, I have to wonder how old that sword is and what it was made out of. Oh. Has... Okay. Apparently, um, uh, Escanor, I blinked on his thing for a second. He's explaining that, like, the explosive power of sunshine, it's not just on the, like, apparently the surface of his body, it's also radiating from the core, so that, so he is just one hot fuck right now, isn't he? <laughs> uh, and uh, apparently both the ruler and ominous, uh, ominous, why can't I say that right? Ominous Nebula can't stop his attacks. Well, that's interesting that Heat would do that to the ruler. <laughs> but, um, okay, so he's like, okay, I heard that they said five minutes. I'm going to stop you for five minutes. Okay. So now they're just doing a blur battle. <laughs> Is he essentially doing like like um crap, how does it go? It's like holy sword or whatever, Escanor, except he's just you know like I don't know. He may not be doing that, but he kind of seems like he is doing that and he just it looks like he just like boom Zelda's in the face and I accidentally clicked the picture again wait is that the end of really hmm and two three four five six seven eight nine oh okay the thing said it only had 15 pages. I wish it, they would number them. But apparently that was it. Seemed kind of short, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, let me move that back over here. Hmm. Did not get to see the kinds of, like, feats of power that I would have liked to have seen. But we got to see some interesting things from... Uh, Mal, given that he has sunshine or channeling it through from Escanor, didn't really get any explanation on that. Would have liked that too, but uh, I enjoyed what we got. Um, it's pretty good that we're getting uh, uh, Ominous Nebula again. Seems like he hasn't used that in a while, which you would think he'd be using that more since he's had a little time to recover and everything, but hmm, it is what it is. Uh, but overall, not a bad chapter, decent amount of action, not a whole lot of, like, stupid talking. <laughs> uh, I like solid action things. Like, if you're giving good information... And it's not throwing off the pace of the chapter too much. It It's okay, but sometimes it's just a wall of text. And it's like, that doesn't make the chapter enjoyable. But this has had a nice balance, you know. Well, really, it was more action than anything, but it was still fun. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you thought of the chapter. Uh, anything I might have missed or misunderstood. You know, translation issues are always a thing. Um, I'll reread this chapter when it comes out on Manga Stream. Or manga C, so but uh so yeah uh thank you for watching like comment and subscribe follow me on twitch twitter discord links down below uh this year i'm doing live streams and stuff so always look out for those as well i recently did a part two for the flintstones comic um things like that but uh yeah until next time quichelings roll out Thank <laughs> you.